A report card on New York State's progress in attracting new jobs. It's overdue more than two months late. And in this case, critics fear no news means bad news. CBS's Tony Ayala reports. It's an annual report card to the people of New York, an update on the number of jobs created through the heavily promoted Startup New York program. Startup New York. Dozens of tax free zones where businesses pay no taxes for 10 years. The Empire Center for Public Policy has been keeping track on social media. The Startup Jobs Report is now 70 days late. The deadline was April 1st, so they might have been afraid that the results were a joke. Ken Girardin says after the millions spent on TV ads... See if your business qualifies at StartupNY.com. New Yorkers deserve a timely update. I think if the numbers were anything better than abysmal, we would have heard them by now. Former Assemblyman Richard Brodsky agrees, but says the issue with Startup New York goes beyond a tardy annual report. The report will come out when it comes out. The problem that they're really having is that there's a growing awareness that these sorts of giveaways do not create jobs and employment, that they have not worked to do the very thing that they're set up to do. That view shared by many critics who point out Startup New York created just 76 jobs in its first full year. If the program is falling short, the state needs to go back to the drawing board and question everything about what it's been doing with economic development. We asked the Cuomo administration what's up with the delay. A spokesman would only say the Startup New York jobs report is being finalized and will be released soon. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Earlier this year, the governor's office predicted Startup New York would create more than 4,000 jobs by the year 2020.